Hello, it is I, Floof and I, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Doki Doki Leisure Club. A game about cute little high school college girls or whatever girls that romance and stuff where nothing can go wrong. So, the game. Oh. Uh, but. Um. Oh. Okay, I am back. So, what do you think? Oh, you wanna know what I think? I'll tell you what I think. Um, it's very freeform. Is that's um, it's very freeform. If that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, 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 it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between the words and lines. When perform out loud, it's like to be really powerful. So, I was... What was the inspiration me on this one? Uh... Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany, huh? Yes, yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that uh, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. That is, um... Uh, that is actually very, very true. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that, that is, that, that, that is true. One, one's mind does get fixated. No, one, one's mind does get fixated. If you try, if you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get some down paper and tidy it up later. Wow, that's actually pretty good advice. I should listen to it. <laughs> Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Yeah, yeah, but most people type now. I mean, yeah. so just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thank you for listening. Like, thank you for giving me good advice. Who should I show my poem to next? Ah, uh, Natsuki. Ask. Uh. Well, <clears throat> well, nah, I'm not gonna really remember what's. Well, it's about time. What I expected from. Well, it's. <clears throat> well, it's about what I expect from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It's just, I didn't. It's just. It can invoke my emotions. It's basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Well, anyway, uh, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, and horses can race, zells can see, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Words. Words of motivation. Great, great words of motivation. Uh, I might do like a voice every once in a while for them, but uh, my mind is very tired. It really is very tired. It's, it's fabulous. You know, it's okay. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff so people don't even take my writing seriously but isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves your writing style wouldn't make your <laughs> your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid yes exactly I like when it's easy to read but it, it hits you hard like in this poem <laughs> hmm seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. She does have a point. I mean, 
I mean, sometimes you think like you're really good at something, and then there's another person that just comes along. It's like they just beat you, you know? Just yeah. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the younger youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I said to him or her with that last comment, I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Hmm, I'll show you someone from Yeah. Uh, Siori. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Fluff and Die! Eh, I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Siori? You must be seriously overreacting. <clears throat> you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well. Oh well, maybe. Maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I'm. what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Your spinning was way more constructive than this. You sure you don't like. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh. Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I, under I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So. So. When I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a fluff and die poem! And that makes it feel extra special. Like, I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her cheek. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy just... I'm really happy just that you wrote one. Which reminds me of how... Of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I've been standing in front of you in the, in the club room. Er, well, of course. I don't... I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Fluff and Die. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like that for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Siori. I'm not sure if Siori seeing, sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now, now you're reading my poem too, right? Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear, dear sunshine... The way you glow through my blinds the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad, I want breakfast. See, Ori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until morning to write this? N no, J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. Well, technically, you can't do that question because it's like, okay, write a little bit at night time, but you get like really tired and you go, and you like, you know, you wake up and I'm like, oh no, I gotta finish. And you write the like last few sentences and stuff. Uh, you can't, uh, yeah, yeah, it's not a question. I, I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Uh, yeah. 
I don't mean to say that was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you are late to school. It's better to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Well, breakfast is... Actually, I haven't... I... I rarely eat breakfast, I have to admit. Anyway. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Eh, -heh. this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Whew. I guess that's everyone. Wait, who? Oh, I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if it's judging me from my mediocre... <clears throat> it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yori and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yori smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh, um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I, I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute! You completely missed the symbolism or something? It's really about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Humph. <laughs> but I was looking for suggestions. I may have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did by the guy. Story liked it. And Fifth died to do. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time researching my writing style. I don't expect it to change anything anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly, particularly inspiring. Hmm... Oh no, 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 no. Oh, you can't see that anyway. Uh, sorry. Uh, fine. Which I haven't yet. N n n and Truth and I like my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Nasuki suddenly stands up. Why did the music stop? Hmm. Huh. I. Okay. Weird. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yori. Eh, eh. Oh. There's the music. Okay. That's not what I. Uh. You. You're just... Yours stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Flippin' Die appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Uh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, 
Oh dear, I go out of my way to make everything I do. Oh, she's a cutie. Uh, uh, um, is everyone okay? Oh, this is getting heated. Oh, nice. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose booze magically grew a size bigger as soon as Flip the Dice started showing up. Oh, I haven't noticed. N Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. This doesn't involve you. I I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Flip and die! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate the symbol of writing it, it's, it's more effective. This wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? As, what's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. I'm gonna explain that to them. To I help me. Well, wait. Uh, there, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning, and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary, learning yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Foof and I? Um, well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Uh, how did I get dragged in the first place? It's not like I, I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Uh, help me, sorry. N Natsuki? Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yori. Yori? But Yori's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Yori? Eh? Yeah? Everyone's fighting is making... Everyone's fighting is making Sori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Move and die. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to inject their own feelings into our conflict. Well, I mean, she's your friend. And you're fighting in front of her. She just wants to get along, so of course... Yeah. Yeah, unless Siori wants to tell Yori what a stuck up jerk she's being. Language, Missy. She would. She would never. It's your betrayal that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listen to yourself? That's so exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! Natsuki? Yori? You guys are my friends. I just don't want everyone to... I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems? They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And yours poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone is so talented. So why are we fighting? But... Be, because... Well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that and yours boobs are the same as they always were big and beautiful big beautiful bouncing babies sorry sorry stands up triumphantly monica monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression i'll make some tea uh, sorry I'll make some tea. Yori rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, uh, I might come off as a good leader, and I can recognize th organize things, but I'm not very good with people. 
I could I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Uh-huh. Nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sari is amazing in her own way, isn't it? Isn't she? You could say you you could say that. Uh she might be an air she might be an error, but sometimes it's very suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her. I would hate. Ooh, what can I read today? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiled sweetly, me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine, per such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk with her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing homes? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was, alright. Well, mostly. Bufadai, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe you learned something from your friends, too. The opponents will turn out even better. I think to myself, I do learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. Whether you like that means I can at least do a better job of pressing those I want to impress. Oh, thanks. Mm. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. Buff and die! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Zori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Yori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori? Uh, about what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yori and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can... I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Whew. You know, Fruf and I, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Hi. <sighs> Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, just to have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Siori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, another poem. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna say do it. Just do it. Ugh. Randomly, just I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna click the top one right here. Okay, Valentine, play, vivid, anxiety, and eyes is grief, sparkle, bed, pink, nature, laugh, summer, disaster, marriage, giggle, dark, ocean, contamination, marshmallow, charm. Okay, let's see, let's see how I won. Another day passes, and, it, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. And turning to club room, the usual scene greets me. Uh, hi, Fluff and I. Yo, Sayori. Looks like, looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to being in the club. That's all. I see. That's pretty simple. That's a pretty simple thing to get in the to get in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Oh, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No, thanks. Eh? That, 
That's not cute at all. I have my reasons. Why, why don't you take a look at your purse, Sayori? <laughs> why? That all of a sudden. No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. <laughs> Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets the contents spill, out, spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How do you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you pl or plan to completely forget that you spent all your money so they could lend you. So, <sighs> or you plan to completely forget that you spent all your money so that I could lend you some. Me not brain well, told I. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that leaves the one option. Ah, I give up. That made me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, uh, if you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I, I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It, it was just something in my book. Yuri! Don't feel bad to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, sorry. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after playing with stupid little stuff like that, your suffering is very enough retribution. Uh... Did I just... I didn't mean that. I got to absorb into my book. Uh, <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It isn't... It doesn't happen much, but it's, it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to, ex now I have to accept their revolution. Retribution. That. Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Behind that smile is an evil demonic creature. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but... You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes, so I had to trick Nazuki into making them. Come on. Come on. Give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Pop. Ta! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow. What was that? What was... Eh? A, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. It, is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution? Retribution. Actu actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just going to give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> That's the key. That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Zuri hugs the cookie. Jeez. Just eat it. Zuri rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. Do I have any cookies? I don't have. I have cookies upstairs. I don't have the cookies down here. I need cookies! I don't want. Ah, shit. Crap. I need cookies. Sure, good. Mmm. Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. I hate when I do that. <laughs> I'm gonna, you're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Oh, I guess looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. I guess can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. 
Dale, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sorry gets out of her seat and goes behind Atsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I, I get, I get, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Atsuki reaches out to nudge Sori off of her. Um. Sori suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, do you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sori trots away to safety. Yori and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometime. Monica, can you tell Sori? Eh. Natsuki glances around. Monica's in a club room. Ugh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Okay, unfortunately, um, I have to get ready for work, uh, cause I was streaming in the morning. But I, yeah, I, I have to get ready for work, so I have to end it here. I am sorry. I will see you in the next let's play. I. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.